Hi everyone, so I thought I would come on this afternoon and post a video. Um, it's been a few weeks since I have, sorry, Matilda is playing with one of her toys, um, since I posted a video on this channel. So really I've only been working on one project. Um, I'm going to frog the vest that I was working on because I don't like how that turned out. Um, but I will show you the blanket that I started for Matilda. So Spotlight had their Karen cakes 50% off. So I picked up two because um, they're only $8 a piece. I know the normal price is crazy. This is the rhubarb cream colour. So I got two of these. They do have a little bit of wool in it, which I don't think she'll mind, honestly. Um, and the majority of it is acrylic. So it's an 80 20 acrylic wool. So I'm just doing a half double crochet. out um, and I did it fairly big um, I think it was 120 stitches that I started with um, so I think it'll be a decent size like big enough for her um, I definitely don't, didn't want to do like a huge blanket but as you see I've got this this far and I've still got all of this cake and then the other one so however big it turns out that's fine um, so I'm just kind of working on that trying to get that done um, obviously I will not put it out for her until winter time because well if I'm being honest it's supposed to be summer here in Australia and really lately it's it hasn't we've had a few warmish days but the rest of the time it's either been raining for a few days in a row or just a lot cooler and overcast. So, yeah. So that's the main project that I've been working on. Yesterday, I actually saw it on Facebook in one of the uh, crochet groups that I'm in. And I actually said to my mum when she goes to have a look to see if there's any magazines out that she wants to get if she saw this one to pick it up and I'd give her the money for it um, but I ended up finding it um, yesterday this is like the first edition of this I don't know how often it comes out um, it's family crochet toys gifts clothing and much more now this is twenty dollars for this magazine which is quite pricey. Uh, most of the crochet ones are pretty expensive here in Australia, but there is one in particular that I want to do. If I can find it. Actually, there's a couple that I want to do. One is this little lamb lobby toy. And obviously you could change the colours if you really wanted to as well. And the other one is this sleeping bag. It's like a, a hooded. Sleeping bag. Um, and it'd be a good way to use up um, some of my button stash as well. I think it's using, yeah, DK. So I had plenty of acrylic DK that I could easily use and it won't take long to work up because it's a four mil hook so there's quite a few um, cool things in here there's you know the usual guide to tell you you know if you're new to crochet you know how to get started so yeah there's quite a few good um, patterns in here I also 
found well I was actually looking for something else amongst the many plastic tubs that I've got uh, I found my colorful crochet blanket book it's the Peyton's book and this magazine that I picked up a while ago um, that's got a lot of jackets and stuff in it too um, this one that's on the front is it's like a big like long cardigan and as you can see it goes up to size 2x and it's using a worsted weight yarn they use broco vintage i am not going to be using that <clears throat> it's not happening but yeah so i found this one and it's got some good patterns in it too um <clears throat> i've started going through all my projects as well because i really want to frog a lot of stuff um some stuff has been sitting there for a while and i just i don't think i'm gonna finish it um one of them is it's the the actual shawl itself is finished i just need to block it um, but i wanted to make either a hat or some fingerless gloves to go with it um, and it's using the um, Glitz Cake from Ice Yarn. So I found that last night when I was going through all my projects that I have out here. Um, and yeah, I just want to reorganize, like, as you can see, if I move the camera this way. So a lot of the stuff obviously at the top is craft projects um, in that purple bag there is a corner to corner blanket. Um, it's using the Sweet Rolls yarn when um, Spotlight had them ages ago. Um, in that basket next to it is that um, fingering weight crochet blanket that I started. That's going to take me forever to do anything, but that's okay. And I actually found my, um, that's my vacuum cleaner sitting back there. Really annoying, actually. Um, my unicorn colorway that I bought from Lovebird Lane Yarns a while ago for a shawl. It's uncaked. It's actually in one of those black, black tubs in that organizer. So... Yeah, um, there's a few projects I still need to go through. I'm debating whether or not I want to put in and use some of my annual leave, just have a few days off in a few weeks. But um, I have also started a new YouTube channel. I'm still going to be doing this one, but I'm going to be doing that one as well. Um, it's kind of following my weight loss journey and uh, I have made the firm decision that I'm going to become a single mom by choice that's like totally solo, all on my own, with the help of a donor. So um, that's what that channel is about. I'll put a link to it down below if you want to subscribe. Um, I do have an intro video up at the moment um, and I've been going to the thrift stores, things like that, see what I can um, pick up like clothing wise for myself and some baby stuff. Um, I'm finding a lot of Bonds baby clothes, which is a popular brand here in Australia. Um, and I always am really thorough with checking things, making sure there's no holes in things or, you know, it's in pretty good condition. Um, obviously, I would buy still brand new stuff, but um, it never hurts to check the thrift stores because you never know what bargains you're going to find. I actually found myself a Bonds t-shirt. It was in extra, extra large. And it's hard to find extra, extra large Bonds stuff. Um, but even when you go onto the actual website to buy stuff, um, it's very hard to usually the extra, extra large of anything sells out pretty quick. So I snapped that up for $5 when I saw it. It's just a 100% cotton t-shirt, you know, it'll be fine for 
at home or whatever. So, and it feels really nice and soft too. Um, this cardigan that I'm wearing, it has buttons. I actually got this at the thrift store too. Um, I think it was maybe seven dollars. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of brown as in a clothing color, but it's a little bit on the chilly side today. So I'm actually wearing that and my Ugg boots <laughs> as well. Um, but yeah, I really want to get into not having so many projects started. Um, that's probably one of my main things that I want to do um, this, this year. I do have a few newer projects started, but I think a lot of the other ones, unless they're halfway done or more, I think I will frog them just because then I can use the yarn for something else. Um, I have now almost finishing, finished de-stashing my spinning fibre. Uh, I just have a little bit of that to go. Um, yeah, most, most of my yarn now is what I'm going to keep and either make things for myself or make things to sell. Um, I didn't really de-stash much of my yarn, to be honest. It was more my spinning fiver because I'm not going to use it. I don't have my spinning wheels anymore. So, but I really need to get into doing my cross stitch, the, the kits, that, kits that I got from Aldi. They've just been sitting on my shelf there and I've opened one and had a look at it, but I haven't actually started it. So once I get all my crochet stuff sorted and organized, I think I will try and start one of those. Um, and I really need to get on to finishing my socks. I know I say that nearly every podcast and you guys are like, yeah, one day you'll finish your hair. It'll probably be December, but <laughs> by the time I finish my Christmas Eve girl film, um, I'm just, I just get in modes and I'm sure you guys are kind of the same where if you knit and crochet, you just get into this mode where you only want to crochet or you only want to knit and rarely do you do both kind of within the same week. I don't know. I'm just like that. I've just been in crochet mode. It's just easy. Um, I can just watch something on the daily. TV and just just as long as it's like a basic pattern I'm generally pretty good with it um but yeah I just I don't usually I mean I can have more than one project going at once but I don't always um oh, I don't always um have them going at once Sorry, I'm just really tired. Matilda was playing around and being silly at like four o'clock this morning. Actually, it was a bit earlier than that. And then I had the police <laughs> knock on my door this morning before 5 a.m. Um, and at first I was like really freaked out. I'm like, okay, something's happened to someone in my family or something. But no. Um, someone had copied, made a copy of my car license plates. And the car that had them on it was involved in an incident in another town, like kind of towards Melbourne way. And um, yeah, they were just coming to check and make sure that, you know, my number plates weren't stolen, that they were still on my car. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting, interesting wake up call. They're like, oh, we're so sorry to have woken you at this hour. I'm like, Psh. Don't worry about it. I said my cat already woke me up and they just laughed and I was like, yeah, it's not, not really that funny. So I'm quite tired today and I went to work. Um, as you guys know, I don't, my work is not open on Sunday, but I went in to help um, my room leader um, in the room that I work in to organize our storeroom that holds all like our resources and toys and stuff for the kids so it's all organized and labeled and yeah so I helped her out do that with doing that for a few hours and I was like you know what I might as well come in and help you because 
two sets of hands will just make everything go so much faster and we can just get it done. So we did that. Um, and yeah, I just got all my washing done yesterday and I have to do some vacuuming, change, change my sheets on my bed, just, you know, the usual boring stuff. Um, my lawns are getting mowed, fingers crossed, hopefully this week if it doesn't rain anymore. Um, it was actually raining when the police were here earlier this morning and I woke up and it looked like we'd had a lot more as well. Um, it's pretty overcast outside, but I don't know that we're supposed to get any more today. Um, I'm just watching one of my paranormal shows and just working on Matilda's blanket. Um, and another thing I need to organize, I'm just looking at it now, is I have a shelf, like a shelf unit thing. And originally I got it to store some of my kitchen stuff. Well, it's, it's become a dumping ground, honestly. It's got some of my kitchen stuff on it, but like, especially the top shelf has just become a dumping ground for, uh, I'll just put that here. I'll deal with it later. later. So I've got a couple of, um, craft projects up there, but yeah, I really need to sort that out at some point, but um, I'm slowly getting used to my new shift at work, although I don't know that I'm really going to be needed, like, to stay on that shift, um, because all of the children go home well and truly before, um, my shift time finishes, so I'll have to have a chat with my boss and see what she thinks, so, yeah, um, that's much it um nothing nothing else exciting um yeah i've just been trying to catch up on sleep i've been exhausted lately um but yeah so i'm hoping to have all my stuff organized and worked out by the time I next post a video. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I think, yeah, there's a few projects that I will definitely finish, but like I said, I think the majority of them I will frog and use the yarn for something else. Um, there's a pattern called the Lorelei cardigan, which I purchased a while ago and I got an, a message on Ravelry yesterday, or it could have come before then and I only just saw it yesterday, um, for an update to the pattern. So it actually goes right up to 5X now as well. So I'm not sure what yarn I want to use for that, but I want to make one of those for myself. Um, but yeah, I just don't know what, I might use some of my ice yarn possibly, I'll have to, um, sorry, my mum's just sending me messages, um, she, now she's just put me way off track, um, yeah, I'll have to go through, because I don't, unless I've got, I know I've got two packs of the rainbow, I, um, magic line, I think. But I think one is the glit, like the glitzy one, and one is just the plain one. But I'll have to have a look. Have a look at my stash and see what... I've actually got but I've been doing really really well I paid off my afterpay and something else oh yeah the TV that I got for my bedroom that's paid off now um, so I've just got my credit card which is not a very big limit anyway and my zip pay um, and one of the stores that here locally that has 
um, like baby stuff. So like the you know, stuff for the nursery, like nursery furniture, car seats, prams, bottles, just anything and everything. Um, you can use zip pay there. So I'm thinking I'm going to get that completely down to nothing and use that to buy like when I do get pregnant like car seat, cot, um, pram, you know, the bigger things because that is a payment that comes out monthly. I mean, you can definitely pay more on it if you want to, but it, for your like minimum payment and you don't get charged interest or anything on zip pay either. Um, you can, you just pay it monthly or you can pay it more often, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan with that. Cause I know some of you are like, shouldn't you have money saved? Um, and mum jokingly said to me yesterday, cause like she's totally on board with the whole thing. Um, and so is my stepdad, but, um, she's like, shouldn't you, you better, you better, you better get saving if you want this, that and the other. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do what I have to anyway. So I think it'll be more Miss Matilda that will have an adjustment, won't she? Mm. And I don't know what she's done to her face, but she's got a bit of a graze on the side of her face. I don't know if she's rubbed against something or she's always rubbing her face on things. So whether she's um, just, I, I don't know what she's done, but it doesn't seem to really be bothering her. Um, and she's not like scratching at it or anything. Before I blab on for another 20 minutes, I'm going to end my video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well um, and staying safe. Uh, we will be apparently getting our vaccines next month, I think. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, enjoy your crafting, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.